when there is a decision to make, I tend to wait too long, waiting for a knowing to come. Can you talk about what is best to do if a decision needs to be made uh, to be made and clarity is not yet there? Much love and gratitude downstairs, Mr. Downstairs. Yeah, it depends. Uh, some people are simply afraid to make decision. And some people are too quick to make decision. Some are afraid to make decision, afraid to be decisive when but there's a time to be decisive and a time to simply be quiet and let things unfold in front of your eyes. Quite often the reflex is to, to rush into premature decision making. And then when that is made, uh, somehow we're into uh, did I make the right decision or not? Did I make the right decision? Now what must I do to counteract the the premature responses coming from premature decision making like this? It's like that. Can you talk about what is the best to do if a decision needs to be made and clarity is not yet there? If a decision is uh, needed to be made, clarity is not yet there. I found this way. <clears throat> If you are not caught up in the fear of making decision or too much the addiction to making decision and somehow just recognize because quite often there are people who are uh, really attached to making decisions always feel like there's a decision to be made so one like this is not going to be very much at peace you're not enjoying your peace because the mind is really always pushing forward and must uh, make a decision about something and it comes out of fear, quite often coming out of fear. Like somehow when the moment comes, something will be missing, there will be no ground to stand on, so I made them make the right decisions. All of these are aspects of mind and bad conditioning somehow. So, um, if you have done what as much as you can do without strain, without strenuous uh, preparation you just responded in a natural way as much as you can do and no more is to be done and the bailiffs are coming what to do then keep quiet you have to take this can you listen to this advice you trust inside your heart okay what more can I do this is the work of the cosmos itself I have done what I can do I'm ready to take the consequences of whatever action come. Perhaps we are so attached to some things, you don't want something to change. And life is pushing in and interrupting your, uh, your preferences. Can you bear it? Because sometimes we are so afraid of change, or you want to hold on to something, and it's time to let it go. And you say, what can I do? And uh, nothing is to be done. Nothing you can find to be done. And you are feeling also that but I don't know if I can bear the consequence if this thing is lost. Yes, you can bear it. If life takes it, uh, and I, I will say to you, let go to it. It's fine. Because you don't know what is going to come. S sometimes the mind, uh, the fear is always greater than the actuality. Don't be locked into your mind. Because the mind is always holding on something is bad is going to happen. Nothing bad is going to happen to you. Nothing bad is ever happening to you. Nothing bad is ever happening to you. Just your mind is interpreting. Hmm? There are some sayings, we say, when life gives you chili, you make chili con carne, they say. When life gives lemons, make lemonade. There are some people who know that. Not every time, oh, this thing is happening, why is it so much? Because you are hanging on to something that you can let go. If you are constantly holding on to, to the fear of change, then you will be in pain. How you can let go? How you can let go? Continue being immersed in your satsang. Keep finding out what you are. When you know who you are, your attitude will be to life, I don't mind what come. Let it come, let it go. Huh? Let it come, let it go. If your best friend leaves you, <sighs> 
something will cry as much as you can let it go it will happen and it will not be so painful if you are clear inside what you are you will see that it's not up to you to manage the universe something becomes okay with this because even like this attitude came even the death of my own son I never regretted and say look you know he should not have gone I felt no no the universe is like this it it happens like this you accept you can feel the pain this is not natural this is human but don't keep hanging on like somehow life is doing bad things to you it's not a good attitude and it makes your life very unhealthy and some things that you think is a curse it turn out to be great blessing for you so this tendency about making decisions you know mm, once i remember one friend uh, he came and he said um what is it now oh yes um he's an actor and he uh, was finding that somehow uh, through satsang he was not feeling much energy to participate he feel like he was his career was slowly thinning away and something the energy was going and he wanted to come to satsang on one retreat we were doing at the same time mm, this acting job came and they say to him you are going to be on tour for 3 months with us now normally he is over the moon about it because he's been out of work for a while but somehow he felt in a dilemma should i go to this satsang i really want to come uh, or should i uh, take this job and he came and asked me on the phone he was saying actually they gave me an ultimatum that i should answer them today and i want to know what to do and all last night i'm thinking what should i do should i go on the retreat or should i go to the the course and he did, i didn't sleep he said and he was calling me 2 hours before i still don't know what to say and they're calling me at 11 o'clock today what should i do he said we're on the phone i said keep quiet he says keep quiet he said yes yeah yes. uh, just keep quiet yes but i mean what what do i do if the if he calls and i have no decision to tell him i said just keep quiet hmm don't force a decision don't force a decision and if it comes 5 minutes to 11 still nothing is happening keep quiet he says okay if it comes to 1 minute before 11 and no decision come keep quiet if it comes a few seconds and the phone is trembling and there's nothing coming keep quiet when the phone rings answer it i said to them he says okay <laughs> okay he says i said very good like that no then what happened now he was waiting then he called he called me about 20 minutes after this he said it's okay i said oh he called early no he didn't call but i kept quiet and it became very clear inside my heart that i don't want this job right now was it a decision eh and not a decision a recognition occur inside so he's waiting for a decision what will i do i don't know what to say should i say uh uh-huh. so keep quiet don't scratch your head now this is something that most people they cannot listen to because our habit the reflex is to force a decision even if it's not felt inside your heart there are not so many decisions to be made in life hmm? but if you learn to keep quiet in your heart and trust hmm? that it is the universal power the cosmic power that is unfolding this body and this body's existence and not your mind huh i said if you identify i the feeling i with just the body mind and personality then it will be the personality's duty and res- responsibility to look after the bodily existence but if you identify i as the universal consciousness 
then it is the universe's responsibility will take care of your bodily existence and it will do a better job than your mind can do.